Welcome to computer science AS levels. And uh, we are on chapter number eight. In the previous lesson, we have discussed about the relational database where we are going to combine the two tables. Remember? Okay, sir. And the two tables are going to be combined with the help of two keys. The foreign key. The foreign key must be same in two tables. You can see the class ID is same in the student yes, sir. and the class ID is same in the class. And you can say in the second table class, I'm talking about this table class, you see class ID is also a primary key because this key is unique right now. So it is possible that a foreign key can be a primary key, right? So this thing yes, is called relational database. Now relationships can be several form. It means it is one-to-one -one relationship between one table to one table, one-to-many relationship. Yes, sir. Column M. It means that you have a single table and that one table is connected with two, three, four tables. And then Several, okay. vice versa, many-to-one. It means three to four tables are connected with the one table. That's called many-to-one. And many-to-one. Okay, many. sir. So there are several types of relationships as we have discussed. There are some symbols. Okay. I'm going to see the symbols of, yes, there it is, look. So this is for one, this is for many, one and only one, zero or one, one or many, zero or many. So these are some symbols. So zero me? Sorry? Zero means, like zero means no one. table. If there is no table connected, so you can write this one. Okay. One. If it is a one only and only one table, you can write these two lines. If you're connected okay. with the many tables, you can see this symbol. And if you see only one table it... connected with the one, you can see this table. This symbol. Okay. So, okay. Right? So I teach you that uh, in a relational table database, uh, we have the tables, many tables connected to one or different things. So the relationship between the class and the student is many to one. Look above here. This is student table. This is class table. This relationship is called many to one. Why? Look, there are two tables, right? And the two tables, it means these tables, like class table is connected to the above table, the student table. So this is called many to one, right? Because yes, we have a class table, the class table is connected with the class ID. Look, right here. It means this table is connected with this table, with the key, a foreign key the called class ID. So this is a case of many to one. So many comes in two table as well. Like you cannot assume that there are four or five tables. If there are two tables, this is also the case of many to one, right? Okay, now they're giving explanation why. As only one, sorry, as one value of the attribute class ID may appear many times in the student table, but only once in a class table. This is a justification. Look, this is a class table. You can see class ID here. Right? So this class ID is copied from the above student table. This is your student table, right? So look, so this class ID is connected here and look, the class ID is depending here. Everything is dependent on class ID. That is the reason it is many to one. In order to speed up searching for data an index can be used. This is a data structure built from one or many columns in a database table. The student table could be indexed on class, second name, first name, to provide class list in alphabetical order of second name. So if you are going to index them, you can you can say indexing means that you're going to uh, sort your data alphabetically or numerically. So this is also called indexing. So in this way, you are going to manage your data. Like Ahmad, Ahmad Said, this name comes first because it starts with the A. 
So indexing is also possible, but it doesn't affect your database. It, it makes your database easy to read. Is that right? Have you drawn? Hello, sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello, sir. Hello, I can hear you. Oh, I can't hear you. Hello. Can you okay, hear me? Okay, now, now I can. No, no, I can. Sir, my computer just oh. crashed. I don't know if. Okay, 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 okay. You need to restart it or what? Uh, no, no, not right now. We can teach. I will restart it later. Okay. Now, did you understand that in in uh, the relational table database? The class ID is a main foreign key which is connected with the class table. In this case, it's many to one because location, teacher name, everything is connected with the class ID. And class ID is the only key which is present in the above table. So these tables are connected with the class ID with the help of class ID. This is the case of many to one. Okay, okay. okay now we are going to start a new topic. That is called ER diagram. What it called? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. yes, I can hear you. Don't worry. Okay, great. Okay. So we are talking about the ER diagram. What does ER stands for? Uh, ER stands for, don't know, sir. Entity relationship. ER stands for. Hello. Uh, sir, entity I don't know what ER stands for. Entity. Entity. Entity relationship. Entity. Okay. You can say entity. It's up to you. Okay. So it means that you are connected with the many things in one time and creating some relationships. Now, the topic is very simple. Do you remember the above topic right here? Look, Achha, I'm going to erase these all things, right? So it will be easier for me to teach you the same thing again. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying, working on it. Okay, the rest of the things I'm going to remove by my phone. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, now, is it okay? It's not too messy now. Uh, no, 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 it's not, it's not messy. No. Okay, right? Okay. How many tables are there? Uh, there are two. Okay, name them. Uh, name them. A uh, stu and student. The student. Student uh, class. Student. I just write a shortcut, man. Student ID and class ID. Okay, okay. Not a student ID. Read the above paragraph. Student and class. Yes. How many tables are there? Tell me again. Two. Name them. Student and class. Okay. How many? How many fields are there in a student? Uh, how many fields are there in student? There is five. There are five. Not is. There are five fields. Is that five okay? Fields. What yes, about, sir. What about the class? Class has three. Okay. Now, listen to me very carefully. I'm going to connect you here. Look. Right here. Your student table is right here. How many fields are there? Look. Uh, how many fields are here? There are five. Yes. And this is your class table. How many fields are there? Look. Three. Are uh, they same? Three. Are they same right here? Mm. Look. Student ID, first name, no, second sir. name, student number, class ID, then class ID, teacher name, location. Same. Look. As I told you, what is that case? That is a many to one. So you can see the sign of many, look, is connected with, look, class ID. That is a case of many to one, right? Because one class has many students. This is a logic. One class 
as okay, so many students. So we many. are going to represent our tables in a form of boxes. Look how easy it is. This type of representation is called ER diagram. So instead of making big tables, you're going to represent your data in a document in a way like a pictorial representation. This provides an easy, understandable visual representation of how entities in a database are related. Entities means columns, right? Fields, look. They are also called attributes, remember? Uh -oh. So look, yes, in sir. one class, there are many students. So all the students are connected with the class ID, teacher name, and location. That is the reason we use many to one. Do you remember the symbol I teach you? Many to one, look. Look, this is many yes. to one. Uh, Here it is. Yes, many I remember. To one, look. One. I need to remove it just a second. Yes. So many to one. The two up, uh, upper two cases are there, look. Many, we take many symbol from here. And we are going to connect with the one here. Look. Okay, sir. So this is this is a bit tricky, but I think so you understand it. Now, what I'm going to teach you, listen, first you need to write down this thing. Once you're done with this thing, let me know. You need to draw the symbols. These symbols. Is that okay? Yes, sir. It's okay. First, you need to write this one. Have you drawn all these tables and showing the relationship in the tables like this? Uh, yeah, I drew, I drew, we drew the, I made them yesterday. Did you, did you not miss the last class? Like that yeah. is in this way, look. So you are showing the connectivity? Uh, 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 no, no, no. I just mean, I'll so draw the line. Take a line if you have drawn these tables. You just need to draw the line. And you need to write down the relationship can be several points. Uh, Okay, sir. At the tables we are going to draw in the database should be represented pictorically. So we need to just write the field name. You can see in the student, I write all the field name. In class, I, I need to write all the field name. And then I connect many to one. So all that fields are connected with the class, class ID. Did you get it? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, the next thing is relationships may be mandatory or optional, right? So it is it is mandatory sometimes, or sometimes it is optional, right? Now, okay. Now we are going to start a topic of normalization. Normalize. Any idea about this? No, sir. Okay. Normalization means that you have a huge database, which is difficult to understand. So you are going to break the database into different tables until it becomes easy to understand. Did you get it? Normalization okay. means yes, sir. that you are going to break a big table into a small tables. So it depends how many tables are there. The question is, sir, how many tables we need to draw. So normalization is break down into three rules. So I'm going to teach you that three rules as well. But before that, you, you need to understand about uh, the normalization, how it works. Normalization is used to construct a relational database that has integrity and in which data redundancy is reduced. What does it mean? Integrity, okay, sir. Uh, it's uh, you know, so yeah. integrity mean like it has, like you know, you know not useless First information. Standard. First standard, yes, you can say, yes, you can say like that, right? And redundancy yes. means the repetition, the same thing is repeating again and again. So the normalization is going to overcome all these issues in your database, right? Yes, sir. Tables that are not normalized will be larger. So you can see this table. How many fields are there? Tell me. Uh, uh, there are three. Three fields? Are you serious? 
No, I thought you said how many students there are. No, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So 10 fields are there. So it's a huge database. So what we have to do, we need to normalize it. It means we need to break it, right? As more data is stored, it will be harder to update the database. When changes are made. So if there are only three records right here, let's suppose if we, if we have thousand records, what do you think? Is it difficult to organize, manage? Yes, it is. That is the reason we are going to do the normalization to make our table, our database simple. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So this could cause problems when alterations are made to the records. Yes. If you're making changes in any record like Noorbeg, like Ahmad Said, Tahir Hassan, if you wanted to make any change, so it will be a problem for us to maintain this huge database and maintain and change everything like Mr. Khan, House One, whatever. So every time a new student is added, the teacher name, address, license number, date of birth, location of the classroom need to be added as well. What do you think? Am I right? If I'm adding Kasim yes, in this table, so I need to add many, many things in my table. Right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, now did you notice one thing in this table, in this database? We have a student's record, like a student ID, first name, second name, date of birth, class ID. These all fields belong to the student, isn't it? Yes, sir. And then you see teacher name, license number, address, and date of birth. These all four columns or fields are related to the teacher. Okay, sir. Think. Yes, sir. These four fields belongs to teacher. This data is about teacher, not about a student. And the okay. six fields is related to the student. So it means in a oh. single table, okay. we have two multiple things. The information about the teacher and the information about the student. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Right. So this makes the things very, very difficult to read, organize, manage, change. That is why we use normalization. Is that okay? Okay. Great. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what do you have to write? You need to write first ER diagram. You need to draw both uh, these whole diagrams, right? And you need to write down the relationships, maybe mandatory from here to till here. You need to write this paragraph. You need to write draw this figure, okay? Yes, uh, sir. 